What up, what up, what up, what up? Uh, what's up, dudes? Doing another tutorial today, what are we doing? So today we're gonna to be doing a video about the basics of body positioning, uh, maybe a bit of extra like pizzazz slash other bits of technique thrown in there as well for good measure. Cool, let's do it. Sweet, let's do it. Are you excited about today? Very, very excited. Okay, cool. Okay. We're gonna start off with step one, and B's gonna tell us what that is. A good way of sort of thinking about all of climbing, I guess, is um, or at least from the kind of perspective of the body positioning, is you're trying to move from a position of balance to another position of balance. So you want to be in balance as much of the time as is possible. Uh, very zen. First, maybe we'll establish what a good position of balance is, uh, and then we'll sort of move on to like transitioning from, from one position of balance to another. So now we're going to cover uh, like keeping a wide base, uh, which will always make you more stable. Really, a good way to think about that is. Consider yourself as like a tripod. If you have the legs of a tripod right next to each other, you're gonna be really out of balance. If they're really far apart, you're really stable. Same thing applies on the wall. You want your legs almost as wide apart as you can possibly get them. So, you know. So, in your case, that's about half a, half a meter. Yeah, half a man. Half um, a man. That'll just make you more stable and you won't be swinging around and flailing all over the place. Step number two, we've just showed you a point of balance and now we're gonna show you how to get from one point of balance to the other. Hopefully using the momentum and weight shifting. We've attached this nice bright green torque bag uh, with a bit of weight in it to my bum and it's going to give an, a really like clear idea of where my centre of mass is uh, so you can see it shifting from place to place. Uh, however, the weight inside of it is liquid chalk so there's, li there's chalk and chalk. There's chalkception up in this beach. Yeah. <laughs> Say you've just moved one foot up higher onto another foothold there's a few different ways you can maybe then transition your weight from the lower foothold to the higher foothold. The less good way would be to, to sort of use your arms and pull yourself up towards the, the higher holds. Uh, a better way to do it would be to use your hips to shift the core of your body on top of the higher foothold and then stand up using your big, strong, muscly legs instead of your arms. And, and we're doing that because it's more efficient. Cool, um, sweet. Uh, so this transition of your center of mass from being over one foothold to another. You can call that a rock over. Uh, so you're shit rocking your weight over a foothold. When you're moving sideways, so when you're traversing either right or left, you generally, like almost always, you want to try and focus on moving your feet before your arms. You don't want to end up in a position where your, your arms are way further over to the left or way further over to the right than your feet are. You just want to go full crab. You know yeah, pretty I mean, much. Right? Yeah. Just shuffling around with your you with a wide base. Yeah. Crabby, crabby, crabby. All right. So I've heard about a term called barn dooring. Can um, you tell me what that is? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. A barn door is when your center of mass is too far to the left or the right, and as a result, you you swing off the wall, you cut off the wall, just like a barn door. It has to be too far left or the right of where your feet are in contact. Though. So your feet yeah. are also too close together. You yeah. haven't got a yeah. wide base. Yeah. yeah. No. Not normally leads to having not a wide base and having having your center of mass too far yeah. to the yeah. side. Give my good side. Yeah, I got your good side. <laughs> yeah, you got my good side. Is that side? your good side? No, that's my balding side. Wait, I'm always bald. I think this is my first video though, I'm shaved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy will be like, <laughs> uh, I influenced yeah, got him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna demo on the overhang now. I'm gonna show you how you wanna twist your hips on the overhang and you really wanna keep your arms straight at all times. It's more important on the overhang because the overhang requires a lot of energy to keep you up there. So you wanna be more efficient on the overhang. The idea with diagonal climbing, largely, is it allows you to, to climb on, say, an overhang uh, with straight arms. So you can avoid muscling your way up things using your big biceps. You don't want to be doing that. Medium. Um, you want to be taking advantage of your legs. So you're using your hips to drive your body up the wall without pulling with your, with your biceps. Don't, don't ever jive with your <laughs> hips in the overhang. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Excellent bag climbing. So yeah, um, I, can, I can climb really bad on demand. <laughs> yeah. It's like 80-90% of the time. You kind of want to be finding positions uh, with three points of contact where you can hover your hand over the, the next handhold for a couple seconds before you grab onto it and allow yourself to use it as support. Uh, that will really force you to find solid, balanced foot positions and hand positions. So that's a good little exercise to play with. 
what you'll find is if you're doing, if you're climbing efficiently on an overhang, you'll tend to make quite a lot more foot movements than you would if you were climbing inefficiently. So expect a lot of foot swaps, step throughs, and, and stuff like that, yeah? It's all about fancy feet. Woo. Fancy silent feet. Oh. 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 Um, cool, so we had a pretty good video today, I think. It was a bit of a weird one because body positioning is such a big part of climbing. It's quite hard to keep it really basic, but we tried our best. Hopefully this was the very basics, but we're doing more advanced stuff in the future. We just want to say, you know, take our advice with a pinch of salt. Lee's a really good climber. Uh, I'm a very average climber, but you don't want to, you don't want to be climbing out cab like I said before with this advice. Well, then we may use a little bit of it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But hopefully this will help out some of your first time climbers. For you not first time climbers, we'll help you out in the future. Peace, in seven eight. So yeah, if you haven't already checked out our previous tutorial on foot placement, definitely check that out. Sick. Um, and also just remember to like, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Woo! See you in a bit. Peace.